We call these tusk beads, but some people like to call them tip-drilled, elongated chips. Um, there's all sorts of different names, but overall they are basically just icicles strung on a strand of different colored gemstones. Here we have lapis, denim lapis. You have labradorite, amethyst, snowflake obsidian. They're all about an inch long. Some of them are smaller, of course. Um, they're naturally formed because they're uh, made from little slivers that are then tumbled. And then after they're tumbled, they have um, a little hole drilled on one of the ends. Some of them are a little more uniform because the stones are the, uh, the the stones are a little bit softer, so they can't tumble it too hard, or else they reduce it to dust. All th th these right here, the the rose quartz aventurine and uh, it looks like yellow jasper, are all very nice. Um, they do have um, very dense beads, so you can see the stones are all nice and rounded. Uh, same with these amazonite carnelian and uh, I think this red aventurine up there, but. Uh, the droplets can be used as earrings, can be used in necklaces, can be used on bracelets, can break up the outline of a, of a necklace so you don't actually see the strand as much and the eye points in the direction that the beads are going either up or down. Um, so it really does provide a unique experience.